Oh, hey, welcome to Hot Shift. A show where I teach people to drive stick and by the end, we all feel like hot shit. I'm Bet, I'm a stunt driver, and today I'm talking to Bronze Avery. Bronze is a musical artist that everyone from Billboard to People Magazine can't get enough of. And he's the founder of Ruxwood, a brand that makes essentials for sensual growth. We talk about his journey into music and the importance of understanding our own sensuality. You're about to drive this car. Okay, tiny little. Tiny little pedals to get into first gear. If you think about this little, like, this little stick. Mm -hmm. Prendol. <laughs> what? It is from Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, London Tipton. She's learning how to drive a car for the very first time, and she calls it the Prindle. You mean the Prindle? Park, reverse, like, neutral, <gasps> drive, and whatever the L is. But it's, it's the Prindle. Prindle. <laughs> so is the goal make it to the stop sign, so maybe? The goal is to make it to the stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I got a big goal. Let's see. Right, so where it is, hold it. Oh. Of course. It's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. You killed it. When was the last time you killed it at something? Just now, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I but like slay. Today I slayed eggs. So I was making <laughs> eggs and I've been really practicing on making like perfect eggs. Oh my God. They tasted amazing. Wow. Oh, you're doing it. I'm We're doing literally first. doing it. <laughs> you just got into first gear. When did you first realize your musicality? Like birth. <laughs> I just like always was singing. But when I was in fifth grade, my like friend Chastity told me to go online, go home to AOL Music and look up Love Angel Music Baby by Ben Stefani. There's a song called Bubble Pop Electric that you never loved. No. Yes. That's like my favorite song. Life was changed. Ever since then, I just always wanted to be a singer. What gave you the courage to move to LA when you want to pursue a dream, like going to the place where you can do it? 99% of people just, just stopped there. I had some traction happening in Orlando that inspired me that if I were to move to LA, that it would work out. But I think in terms of like, courage of ability, I wasn't afraid of coming. I knew I would slay it. But like getting here was the hard part, but I was like, once I'm here, it's gonna be a vibe. I always was really confident in my talent and like uh, my ability. Oh my God, there's so many like <laughs> reaching, um, what is it called? The- Yeah, like a higher- Higher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Take your right foot off the gas. Down into second, boop, boop. Cute. That was cute. That? Yeah, oh my God, we're doing it. Uh, you're doing it. Eat it up. <laughs> are you kind of gagged right now that you are I'm like, so happy. it took two seconds and you're here driving stick? I do feel like I'm able to do it. Yeah. At least to survive. You know? yeah. <laughs> what space are you creating when you write songs and who is your music for? I make my music for me. It really is a personal thing and I'm so glad people can relate. But recently I have been really interested in trying to crack the code of making music that my community really likes. I want to be a person that like, they're like in our community where they're like, I support this queer musician and more than I support like Britney Spears, you know, whatever. Like, yes, just... you've been doing what you've been doing for a while and you've always known and you've had the confidence like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. When something actually happens that maybe you had just imagined and now it's happening outside yeah. of you, how, what does that moment feel like? It never feels like how you think it's gonna feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is like not even for music but for anyone and yes. anything in life. You never feel like you've gotten to that place you're supposed to get to until maybe almost after you've achieved it. They always say like really enjoy where you are because like right now for instance like I don't feel like a famous like singer but I also do yeah. because I'm like if I don't feel like it right now I will never feel like it where did you learn that from I think it's time that's how, how I've learned it the dreams change and you yeah. have to allow your dreams to change because the world changes you know like, we were talking earlier about toxic positivity <laughs> <laughs> having your song called it is what it is all these different facets of yourself out there in the world right now like what do you do when there's something where maybe it didn't happen the way you wanted it to happen it but is what it is <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it folks thank you so much have a great one Goodbye. when something doesn't work out i really do see it as a sign to pivot mm -hmm. i always say that if everything in your life just worked out perfectly the way you wanted it to you wouldn't watch that show Ooh. you, know, you want to see people like struggle and learn because that's yes. a relatable thing and life is like that and if you know that it's coming you can be more prepared for it I guess what is it that you're manifesting next I've never gotten to music to perform and now I just want to play like <laughs> bigger venues like festivals I think I'm into like my festival era Ooh. But bigger manifestation is I really want Ruxwood to be huge I think it will be we bootstrap this whole shebang with 5,000 bucks and it is definitely surpassed anything we could have ever imagined and it's just the two of us doing basically everything and I've really seen in a different way than my music I've seen how this brand has touched people's lives. People who have never been 
seen in marketing in this way or felt sexy or sensual or felt spoken to in our community really have. I didn't realize how much sensuality is a through line in my life. Sensuality to me is not sex. It's about being in tune with yourself. Oh, yeah. say more about that. It's because sexuality is so different than sensuality because your senses are like taste, touch, smell, you know, like all those things. So when you feel sensual, like it can lead to you feeling also sexy because yes. you are so in tune with yourself. Yes. You absolutely killed that it. Was so oh my fun. god. You have been driving stick for this entire fucking time. Yeah. You did it. I couldn't have done it without you. This is amazing. <sighs> Were you surprised by anything? It's a lot easier than you would think. I feel after, I'm very accomplished. It's like the goal is accomplished. I feel like I can tell people like I know how to do it. Oh, you feel like hot shit now. Yeah. <laughs>